Hey everybody, JCB here with The Awesomest, and you're watching The Awesomest Awesomest Awesome List. So I know a lot of you are expecting this to be the final part of my Six Flags Texas adventure, uh, but I will continue that next week. I feel like this one's a little more important because there's a big announcement coming up. As you know, this is the end of summer, and at the end of every summer, the Six Flags Corporation does their big announcement video in which they talk about all the cool new things that are becoming to all the Six Flags parks nationwide. And so, as per usual, I'm doing my top 10 list in which I discuss the things I think Six Flags should do at Magic Mountain. Last year's announcement video was a little underwhelming, and the then-promised Justice League Dark Ride just barely opened. Since next year I'll be heading to Six Flags St. Louis, I'm particularly interested in what new rides they will be adding in 2018. So every year I do one of these videos, and every year I try to make it really clear that these aren't predictions. These are just kind of my wish list of things I wish Six Flags Magic Mountain would add next year. And yet every year, no matter how clear I try to make that fact, I still end up with comments down below people saying, that's impossible. Six Flags can never do this. It's way too expensive. Well, first off, expensive is not the same as impossible. Second, some of the things I've suggested have actually happened. But just so we're 100% clear, these are not predictions. These are just things that I wish Six Flags Magic Mountain would do. I don't know if these are even possible for them to do. I don't know if they would have the money to do them anytime in the future. They're just things that I wish the park would do in 2018. So without any further ado, here are the top 10 things Six Flags Magic Mountain should do in 2018. Number 10, add express parking. This summer I visited Six Flags Fiesta Texas. If you haven't seen those videos, you can click the links down in the description below. One of the first things I noticed when I got to Six Flags Fiesta Texas was that they actually offer express parking. This was a small extra fee that allowed you to park a lot closer to the front gate. At Six Flags Magic Mountain, this sort of thing would be very helpful for people who don't have a lot of time, or while not technically disabled, are unable to walk long distances. This could bring in extra park revenue, it would clear up some parking spaces in the regular parking lot, and it would be providing a valuable service to the customers. It's a win-win-win. Number 9. Fans in the Ride Queues In addition to Six Flags Fiesta Texas, I also visited Six Flags Over Texas, and if you haven't watched those videos yet, you can also click the links for those down in the description below. In fact, I think I might just create a playlist and link to that at the end of this video. I think that'd be the better way to go about it. Anyway, Six Flags Fiesta Texas and Six Flags Over Texas, they have these big fans in the ride queues. These fans often had misters attached to them, but even when they didn't, the inclusion of the fan in the ride queue made a huge difference to the overall comfort of the guests. It seems like a small thing and that it wouldn't really make that big of a difference, but trust me, every time these big fans were in the ride queues, everybody in the line felt a lot cooler. Number eight, replace Viper. So for a long time, I've been an advocate of fixing Viper. In fact, in my video last year, I believe I just suggested that they replace the trains and use trains that are more like the ones on Twisted Colossus with the hydraulic lap bar instead of those shoulder bars that people smack their head into. But now I think I'm over that whole idea. This year I've decided I'm done trying to save this ride. It's garbage. It's one of the few old aero coasters left, and it's probably sitting on land that is worth a lot more to the park than a coaster with a bad reputation and dismal draw. And now rumors are circulating that Six Flags is planning to tear it out of there. Which makes a lot of sense. Viper sits on some pretty valuable land. You only get one chance to make a first impression with new guests, and the first coasters you see when you're pulling into the Magic Mountain parking lot is X2, which is still awesome, and Viper, which is from 1990. Six Flags would be much better served by putting in a much newer, more innovative coaster in that place. So I'm officially advocating for the removal of this ride altogether. I don't know if it needs to be scrapped necessarily. Some other Six Flags, or hell, some other smaller theme park of a different variety would probably love to have this ride. So maybe they could sell it off or send it away as part of their ride rotation program. Number seven, reopen the observation tower. So the big orange tower dominates the Six Flags Magic Mountain skyline and has for years. Unfortunately, it's also been closed now for many years. At one point, the tower housed a museum of the park's history with lots of information and artifacts from decades past. And a few years ago, I had the idea of incorporating it into a Batman vs. Superman coaster. Now I just want them to do something with it. I don't even care what it is. Make it a fancy restaurant way up there. Make it uh, just another museum. Make it a drop coaster. Make it a freaking polar coaster. Make it another skyscraper for all I care. Just do something with this damn thing. Number six, tear out the train ride. 
So at the very edge of Bugs Bunny World, there's this little train ride called the Whistle Stop Train. At one point, this ride was themed after Thomas the Tank Engine, but has since been rethemed to a more generic steam train similar to the trains they have at other Six Flags theme parks. The problem is that other Six Flags theme parks, the trains serve a purpose. They're people movers. Uh, you can actually get a really nice tour of the entire park by just riding the train one time. It's a great way to get your bearings, figure out where everything is that first time you're at the park. At Magic Mountain, it doesn't really work that way. The Whistle Stop train is just in the corner of the kitty area and kind of just stays in that corner of the kitty area, and half the time it's broken down. So why not tear it out and either put in more kitty rides, expanding the park's offerings to its younger guests, or expand Hurricane Harbor? Either would be better than a busted train. If you expand Bugs Bunny World, you can actually include some new dark rides which the little kids would enjoy, and if you expand Hurricane Harbor, that might increase season pass sales, since most of the season pass options actually offer free entry into Hurricane Harbor. Number 5. Give every water park a water coaster. Now I'm not here to say what other Six Flags parks would enjoy having, or what I think those people would want to have at their water parks. I really only know Six Flags Magic Mountain really well to make suggestions like that because I go probably once a month. But there are some things I feel like every park would enjoy. For instance, I feel like everyone would be happy if one of these bad boys got added to their Six Flags water park. Thunder Rapids is a water coaster and even though I only got to ride it once and it was under some pretty crappy circumstances, it was still really fun. I would love it if Six Flags Magic Mountains Hurricane Harbor got a Thunder Rapids coaster and I'm sure most people would agree it would be great to have them at every single Six Flags water park. Number 4. Drop a Doom VR Experience So this one is kind of a prediction. There's been a lot of rumors that they're going to add the Spider VR Experience currently at Six Flags Over Texas to Drop a Doom at Magic Mountain during Fright Fest. As I said, Six Flags Fiesta Texas already has this using the same VR system currently available in the New Revolution, so adding it to Drop a Doom at Magic Mountain seems like a no-brainer. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a prediction. I think they'll definitely include this as part of the announcement for Fright Fest this year, and it'll probably be at most of the Six Flags Park that have drop rides. Number 3. Turn Ninja into Mini Tatsu Yes, I know I'm going back to like crazy expensive ideas, but this would be really cool. Back in the day, Ninja captivated park guests with its hanging car design. The idea of having no track below you drove millions of visitors to ride this coaster. But today, the shine has kind of worn off this old aerodynamics ride. So wouldn't it be cool if they retooled this so it worked more like Tatsu? I mean, get rid of the suspended cars and put on some custom made steel flyers so it becomes like a little baby version of Tatsu that little kids can ride and get used to before they try the much more intimidating full blown Tatsu. Number 2. Put in a Mac Extreme Launch Coaster. Six Flags Magic Mountain hasn't really had a new coaster in quite a few years. In fact, Twisted Colossus is already almost three years old. And that wasn't even a brand new coaster, that was just an RMC conversion of an existing ride. The last brand new coaster Magic Mountain got was in 2014 with Full Throttle. If they want to remain the thrill capital of the world, I'd say it's time they add some new coasters. So why not start with a Mac Extreme Launch Coaster? This thing is pretty freaking cool. It uses a turntable loading station to load a second train while the first train is running the track. But here's the kicker, both trains offer a unique experience. The first train is pretty standard for a launch coaster, acting in a similar fashion to Superman Ultimate Flight at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. The second coaster runs the same track, but it's designed like the free spinning carts on Pandemonium. This gives riders two completely different experiences. It's unique, it's innovative, it's new, plus it's pretty small so it can fit just about anywhere at the park. Number 1. Add an RMC T-Rex So a few weeks ago, Six Flags Fiesta Texas broke the news that they're creating a brand new Wonder Woman roller coaster and it's going to be made using an RMC Raptor. For those of you who don't know, the RMC Raptor is made by the same company that did Twisted Colossus and features a revolutionary single track setup. This is supposed to keep the track silky smooth no matter how many hundreds of thousands of rides the track has endured. Well, a few parks across the nation have now announced that they're going to be adding RMC Raptors, but nobody yet has announced they're adding the RMC Raptors big brother, the RMC T-Rex. The T-Rex has been rumored to come in all shapes and sizes, including a hypothetical 300 plus foot drop. The track's design supposedly allows for all kinds of cool new innovations and inversions. Personally, I think this would be the perfect kind of ride to put right in the footprint of Viper, giving brand new guests to the park a glimpse of the future of roller coasters. Just replace Viper, put this bad boy in, it's gonna be amazing. I'm really excited to see what is in this year's Six Flags announcement video. I hope they have some cool plans for 2018 and not just a new theme park in Florida or something. So what do you think of my list of things Six Flags Magic Mountain should do in 2018? Let me know down below. And what about your home park? Do you not live in Southern California? What's your closest Six Flags park and what do you hope they add? 
Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as I release new videos every week. And until next time, keep being awesome.